Hey guys, welcome to yet another episode of Horrible Decisions. And I am so glad Juan Dixon <laughs> is not here. Okay? Who is that? Y'all married to so glad. Yeah. I heard Y'all. someone was married to Juan. He Puerto Rican? No, his name. No. He, he Mexican? He, he, is, he is full on African American, but his name, his name is Juan Antonio. Juan Antonio! Full on black dude. Listen, if y'all do not know where that is from, <laughs> we are gladly joined today by two of my favorite, non-favorite, then favorite again, the non-favorite, it depends oh, on the season. Take, take it. You know, y'all, yes. I, I have a roller coaster <laughs> with you guys. Been, if you went yeah. through the tweets, you probably don't like y'all. Yes, <laughs> we, we are joined by Robin Dixon and Giselle Bryant <laughs> of not only the Reasonably Shady podcast, but also the Real Housewives of Potomac, Potomac, Potomac. <laughs> Who I don't know what that is. All of that. All of it. It. As long as you watch, we don't care what you call okay, it. There we okay, go. there yes. we go. By the way, my name is Wheezy. Our show is Horrible Decisions. We have a show, Destigmatizing Kinks for Black People in the Community. Now, we really talk about nasty shit, but we're going to be respectful today. <laughs> Are we? No, we not. Oh, we not. Y'all do what y'all People do. Oh, we do what y'all do. Us we need to be nice. Y'all got kids. <laughs> we gotta, gotta do that. Listen, we do what you do. Ways. Well, yeah. um, I we do want to say. Oh, wait, the the people in the comments. Just a preference. Is that what they say? No, no, no. Okay. No, I'm about to tell you what I done heard. So. They, they really just said, hopefully they talk. Oh, no, we, we talk. Oh, we, like, talk like, like, we talk about sex. Like we, but I don't know why they would yeah, say that. We well, never mind. We, we, we know podcast. how to get nasty we get with nasty. it. We know I how mean, to get nasty with it. We know y'all got kids. That don't mean nothing. Just because you got kids don't mean you realize you had a cream pie. You know what I'm saying? I got a nosy man, so we'll see what I can do. Oh, well, someone going to be mad about this. So, um... As I said, I don't watch Real Housewives of Potomac, but I'm familiar a little bit with our guests, um, especially after last night when people were like, bitch, we got to give you the tea. However, (laughs) there's one thing I know about the guest that's to my left um, because of an email I got from Mandy uh, attaching their producer, my assistant, and Black Effect. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Oh, I w- it Damn, says, did I do that? Thanks. We're only going to be booking one hour in D.C. Based on the show, Robin doesn't show up on time for that. <laughs> Can we give her notice to arrive 45 minutes before the scheduled time at the studio? Yes. Because yes. this is very costly 45. if we have to accommodate simply for tardiness. Yes. Listen. I was like. That was good. That was good. And look, listen. And I was still listen. late. I had a... <laughs> No, so you made it just on time. But, right. but according to my call time, I had a 2.30 call time. You did. And I got here. 2.54 is good for us. And yeah, I got here be... at 2.54. Yeah. Hold so... on. And when I tell you I am a stickler on time, yeah. Yeah. like Weezy and I have had people uh, so late to the pod that we've canceled and then I'll be like, they're not coming again. Oh, right. Don't, right. Right. don't bring okay. them. So okay. you are me. Yeah. Okay. And maybe, <laughs> maybe you're Robin. I'm thinking. No, I'm, I'm not too bad. You're not oh, too bad. So like, I'm half. Which means like yeah. I'm half late. Like I'm oh, like okay. five minutes, ten minutes late. I'm not. Girl, like, you be oh. late to Zoom. I'm, I'm like, girl, I, I, need, I need five more minutes. I'm like, girl, I, I be Zoom. shitting Mandy with the fun. <laughs> <laughs> that, see, that's you. I'm, yes, <laughs> yes. And I'm, but that, if you know you gotta be on Zoom, I would have been here too early. early. If I wasn't stuck time. on the toilet. Yes, for real. Earlier. Yes. yes. Oh, wow. Let's get it out. I can't come here stopped up. Like, that is- <laughs> you know what? Okay, wait. So, yes. we know you from Real Housewives and we isn't like people, but you have a podcast, Reasonably yes. Shady. Yes. yes. And you're our sisters on the Black Vet. Tell us about Reasonably Shady. <sighs> well, Robin is very reasonable. I am very shady. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we have been friends since before the show, before yes. Potomac. And during the pandemic, we got together and did a couple of IG Lives. And people were like, oh, my gosh, y'all should have a podcast. And we were like, okay. (laughs) And so it it went from there. And Robin came up with the name Reasonably Shady, which I think is very fitting to us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Even though Robin, the last episode we had, (laughs) was beyond shady. Uh I was so goddamn reasonable. And Robin was just the shadiest thing alive because she hadn't eaten. She was hungry. So she was cranky. Oh, cranky shady. (laughs) Cranky shady. That don't count. That's an ailment. But see, I could still be shady. That's the thing that makes us tick like yes. i'm i'm still shady i just i'm not as vocal with my shadiness true true you know but we still kind of think the same okay yeah. but i will say one of the great things about our podcast is you know yes we're on a show it's a real housewife show it's all about the drama and the, what's going on and y'all don't really get to know us 
you don't really Valid. get to know our personalities, yeah. Yeah. our friendship, like <clears throat> what we think about the weather, like nothing. You know what I mean? So it's like, <laughs> what do you think about the weather? Rob in. I promise I am not watching. I think we don't care. Okay. Okay. Right. Right. But what you okay. care about the weather? Okay. Okay. Right. What, what we think <laughs> about Kanye important. and Kim. Like, you know what I mean? Okay. 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 You, okay. you yeah. don't get any of that right. on the show. And so the podcast is such a great opportunity for people to, to really get to know us. Yes. And it's so funny because people who like hate us on the show, and you know your haters are still your lovers. Like so oh, they, they, they they will watch in. Right. Why, why do they listen to you guys? Yes. The green eyed band. So they listen. We we'll are. get to that. Yeah. So <laughs> so we'll listen, right? I mean, they'll listen and they'll be like, "Oh my gosh! Like I really like you all now. Right. Now I get to know more about you. Now I understand you. And become human. Yes. 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 But so, also just like it's a journey. Like there's people who have been listening to horrible decisions. We've been at this for about five years now. Yeah. Okay. People are just liking me. Five right. years later. Yeah. Five years later. That's because so, yeah. Mandy got a heart when she got a boyfriend. Oh, oh. the boo, the boo. I mean, I'm single soft. right now, but <laughs> you know, he still girl. Around. Okay. You okay. got okay. a boyfriend and got sweet. She be like, "What you mean you cooking for niggas? You love him? Why?" Uh -uh. <laughs> but it's crazy because again, I think the pandemic has like shifted my thoughts on so many things. Yeah, like, sure. And I tell him all the time, we got together during the pandemic and I tell him the only reason I did cook for him because no, no place was open. No, right. Uh -oh. <laughs> Maybe we got to eat. No, it wasn't. It was the D. <laughs> we in New York. Right. <laughs> Nowhere is open. I got to cook. No, he had no um, choice. Yeah. I did want to start off with some icebreaker questions for you guys. Okay. Are they reasonable um, or are they shady? Some of them are pretty shady. Okay. Most of them are reasonable. Okay. Uh, the first one, because I think it goes with our show so much and we have asked this before. Uh, for those of you who just watched the last season, would you rather, we're going to do a quick this or that, tea bag or toss salad? Oh. <laughs> tea bag. I think all tea bag. Day. Tea yeah. bag me tea all day. Y'all really yes. ain't looking at? Hell no. I, what? no. I'm not. I, mm. Ooh. I'm, okay, you, I'm, just gonna say, I'm just going to say, you know, like if it was a drunken night, he like just got out of the shower. I mean, because, you know, you're just mm -hmm. like free. Right. So then <laughs> I don't, I don't but, care how drunk I am. OK, but he just got the shower. It's nice like, and clean down uh, there. Shower fresh. Yeah, really? shower fresh. I mean, Robin, I, mean I, I saw what you look like after all them whiskey shots. You would have <laughs> ate some booty. You would have <laughs> ate some booty that <laughs> night. See, that's what I'm saying. I don't, yeah. I don't care how drunk I am. I will sober up real quick if yeah. he put his ass in my face. Really? Oh, yes. wow. Why? Okay, is there hair in it? There's fecal matter. No. <laughs> not what? if it's but clean. Not wash it. I don't, I don't, well, I mean, okay. So we I know. bleed. I know my man but is goes very, away. he's very clean. Like, he, he takes multiple showers a day. So I don't have to worry about that. But I just, you know, my, my brain gets to thinking about what comes out of that. When's his birthday? Um, October 9th. He's a Libra. Oh, a Libra oh. like me. Ew. It just so, passed. It just, yeah. Mm -hmm. I will oh, work you want me to, to give him a birthday gift? <laughs> She yeah. could do it for Christmas. Christmas. Oh, that would, yeah, Christmas, that would be good. He would probably very much enjoy it. Now, I do, there was a guy I was with kind of recently, and he didn't like teabagging. Oh, he didn't like teabagging. He didn't like the balls messed with in any way. Okay, well, oh. it is sensitive. So some guys, like, depending on right. how you were, like, it could be ticklish, it could hurt them. Like, uh. there's a lot of... Like, it's like, you know though. what it is? It's like a nipple. You like, were, some people like rough. them pulling. You didn't do it right. I was about to say, you had to be too rough. You didn't no, do it right. No, because, like, he didn't even want, real he didn't even want yeah. touching and stuff. Like, he just was like, mm. and they were very large, so maybe that had something to do with oh. it. I don't know. But I was offended, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> Why do we all go, oh. I mean, if you don't like it, I was don't offended because like I was one of my things. Like, I was, I I'm a great teabagger. Like <laughs> you don't like, but you know what? I'll be honest. There's, there's a lot of things that I would say I didn't like. Yeah. And when the right person do it, because I actually wasn't Maybe. a fan of head. Okay. For a long time. Okay. The lad person, I sit right on his face. Okay. <laughs> like, so I think it really depends, like, right. you know, the person. Okay. okay. That makes right. sense. Okay. Next question. Y'all, a big dick broke man. Ooh. Or a small dick wealthy man. Jesus. I can't do I've had song. both. And it's just like, <laughs> damn. Like, I'll take the big dick. We can work on his job. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. I've faked my resume I to can't. get to where I got uh -uh. to go. He can too. Uh -uh. I mean, how small is small? I mean, we know what small is. Sheesh. Women know when, when, when it's small. Uh -uh. Yeah, you got to go. Small got to go. No. Nope. Yeah. So we're, so But is that big because you have money, you feel like? Even when I didn't, I still, small, you got to go. Uh -uh. Small in 10 seconds. Out of here. Mm. Like if you, how many rounds do you like? A good oh, okay. In my younger days, <laughs> um, it, it it didn't matter. It didn't matter. Okay, it's, many, it's just we can go for it. Okay, that's me right now. So when does that stop? <laughs> um, when you get, do you have when you children? Get a little tired? No, I okay. don't want children. Okay, oh, okay. All right, so it might so not forever. 
Yes. I can keep going for yes. forever. Yes. Why, where, why does the mother leave? Is it because of tiredness? Is it because yeah. you're tired? Uh, you, yes. you got, you're tired. You got distractions. Like, you just trying to go to sleep. Like, yes. Do you think you get too motherly to where you don't feel sexual anymore? Oh, hell no. 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 Okay. No. One has nothing to do with the other. But when you have kids, you got, you have to, you're always thinking, I got to get up in the morning. Right. Mm -hmm. So if you're doing something at night, you're like, this got to be quick because right. I got to get a little oh, bit wait. of sleep in order yeah. for me to get so up. Y'all don't even morning. get morning sex. You can't. Yeah, <sighs> you, you can. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm a morning yeah. person, but it's like, OK, well, that means we got to wake up a little earlier. I mean, right. it's just you got to plan it. You I ain't like going right. to right <laughs> hold you, bitch. I, I set my alarm early. Right. Yeah. Like if I know, if I, if yeah. I know he got to be at the crib by about 830, that alarm gets set at six. <laughs> yes. We yes. waking up. See, yeah. I don't want to wake up for sex, but you can wake me up with it. And I'm like, pretend. I'm like, stop. Huh? Open my <laughs> no. By the way, those were the reasonable questions. Oh, oh, oh here shit. come the shade. Okay. Here come the shade. Y'all ready for the shady yeah. questions? Okay. All right. We'll start easy. Uh, this one is going to be a wife swap. Which housewife would you swap husbands with? None of them jokers. <laughs> No. Wait, the whole franchise? I mean, okay, you mean on our <laughs> show, right? Just our show, Potomac? Yeah, let's. Yeah. Okay. I mean, Juan would be the only <laughs> one I would even consider, right? But because it's Juan, like, right. no. So, like, no, I would never even want to even take my top off for any of them other dudes. Damn. No. Okay. Damn. <laughs> well, this is purely that for was shady. like that convenience was shady. and like selfish reasons. Oh, okay. But like Chris Bassett, he cooks. Oh, true. He okay. looked like Chris Daltrey. Don't he look like the little rock band singer? Ah. Girl, I cannot believe you even knew his fucking Because I, I used to so. watch American Idol. I don't even know who that is. I don't think so. You don't think yeah. so? No, Not a person? I don't think so. That was just the uh -uh. beard uh -uh. and the bald head? I mean, <clears throat> yeah. Ooh. There's no like... Girl, no, this is like rule girl. number one. I'm sorry. I, I saw we. I saw we. Oh, but your kids, they don't count. You know, yeah, it's, it's, it's getting out of school time, y'all. Yeah, I'm sorry. We it sorry. Is. It is. My bad, my bad. Okay. You know who so, yeah, so, Chris Bassett cooks. He okay. does. And, and, and there's something about a man that cooks. That is yeah. true. But what about another franchise? You remember, what's Beverly Hills? Oh, Paris Hills Mauricio. Oh, Mauricio. Oh, oh, yes. He's getting it. Morning, yeah. noon, oh, and night. Oh, uh, yes. No, 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 that's oh, Kyle, Kyle Richards. Kyle, Kyle Richards. Yeah, okay. He, he is fine. Okay. I'm doing him. Okay. And I told yeah. Kyle. I already told Kyle. What? Like, oh, it's, it's going what? down James uh, Brown. Did, <laughs> did, did she get to join? What did she, she say? She laughed. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> like, I mean, it was like. <laughs> what exactly did you say to her? I mean, I just I, was I, like. I don't know. When I saw her, because I had already made public jokes about me yeah. sleeping okay. with her husband. Okay. So when I saw her, I was like, Kyle, you know, I just be playing about Mauricio, but not really. <laughs> and I'm still playing. So, <laughs> so she's like, I'll oh, just out. Like, you know, she took it in stride. Now, have you but seen you know, him in person? I have not. Yeah. Oh. No, I have not. I, I wanna, would, would, you, would you like, if she was like, okay, but I got to be in the room? Would that still be up for grabs? No, I, she would have to leave the room. I, I've already Aww. said. I've already said publicly. I would have to have him for the day and weekend. <laughs> yes, but you know what though? What really sucks? Like, so I watched the Real Housewives franchise years ago, and I started with Beverly Hills. And I remember thinking when I watched it recently, I was like, "Damn, men really get better looking. They like, age yes, yes. so well. yes, mm -hmm. yes." I think mean, Kyle's. Kyle aged, but she still looks good. Yeah. But like Mauricio, God damn. Yeah. 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 I want to tell you. I ain't, ain't going to hold you. If you look at old pictures of him, he's not hitting like that. No. I, yeah. I feel that way about my my ex. Like, yeah. I be looking like you was too pretty mm -hmm. in your 20s. Mm -hmm. and now he almost hitting 50. Huh. It, so, <laughs> I'm like, you want a bag? No, we're friends. Oh, okay. We're friends. Girl, we're not friends. friends you went on vacation with last weekend. This you finished or you done? Dang. Is this, the, is this the dude? Is this, this your guy? What? One? This is yes. pandemic. Oh, this is pandemic boo. This is pandemic boo. Oh, okay. Not, but he, no, we're not together. We're just friends. Just okay. friends. Okay. She's just lying. Do you suck his friendly dick? <laughs> or not? Damn. Do you? <laughs> I was on shrooms and I'm going to blame the, blame the drugs, okay? <laughs> 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 All right. Yeah. Last last one, last yeah. one, and this is really shady. I hope one of y'all answer this. Who cheats more, athletes or pastors? <laughs> That's a good question. That is a very good question. <laughs> okay, see, I did hear that. That's a good did. question. <laughs> I think I think they're equal. Okay. I think I, um, I want to say athletes. You do? Because well, pastors travel a lot too. So if it's a yeah. traveling pastor, okay. <laughs> yes. you know, it's probably equal. Yeah. But the athletes, you know, it's like yeah. an NBA player, they're playing in how many different cities? Like definitely girl, athletes. You know what I'm saying? Special gift. They're playing in like 30. <laughs> 
31 is say what? And I think She's pastors Portland, start to Memphis, feel a guilt. So maybe they got stop. brought to. Right. Exactly. That, that's because oh, anyway, those, those cities. Right. Yeah. That's because those cities aren't popping. <laughs> At all. Right. So they like. Wait, why do pastors travel? Don't they got to be there every Sunday? No. no. Maybe guess, girl, you really is they, raising they hell. First of all, I grew up Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> so like if it's, if it's a very popular pastor, he's traveling to go preach at other churches okay. all over the country and maybe even internationally. So he has access. It, that's all about, that's all it is. It's just access. Yeah. How much of a hoe do you got to be to fuck with a pastor? I that mean, you know oh, there's church hoes. There's a day. lot of church hoes. There's church hoes all day long. long. I mean, I know we do. We was in there with our Saturday. I understand the title <laughs> of this show, but bitch, <laughs> you are a fucking whore. And yeah. he's in a church. And he married. But she probably but felt like she's doing a favor to the Lord. To yeah. 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 Yes. yes. Okay, to be fair, so rest, in, rest, rest in peace. But my pastor, when I was growing up, you know, he passed. Not, but no, we are not. You just from stopped New Destiny, right there. But he was fine. And I remember people talking about him. But I didn't think anybody would want to. And you, oh, never listen, was, and you never watched him and you were like, oh. Ooh. I was like 16, but yeah. But the, <laughs> but the ladies are like, God told me I was supposed to fuck you tonight three times. <laughs> That's what yeah. God said. See? Mm-hmm. That, and this is real. And what? The yeah. Well, but anyway. And, wait, wait, wait. This is real. <laughs> no, this is real. I'm and, not even, and, I'm not and even playing. And women probably think that they're God's chosen ones. So they probably got baby legs Hold and on, wait. Go like, back to this. This is real. Like, you've seen passes. Because I mean, one of you that, were with a pastor, I'm right? Saying, it was you. I was married, yes. You uh-huh. saw this with your own eyes? Like a message? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I was very privy to, like, I was very good friends with a lot of pastors' wives, so we all talk. Yes, women are very bold and say that, you know, God told me I was supposed to be your wife, not your wife. God told me I was supposed to fuck you tonight. That's why I traveled to get here to see you. Like, all kinds of stuff. Women are crazy. Women are yeah, crazy. The pastor, okay, but the pastors are probably saying the same thing to the women, too. Thank you. Right? Thank like, you. But they, do they have to say anything? Like God they ready to, to go. I was up in this pulpit, and but I you know what? you. Because God's A lot of priests did that direction. when they are, you know. Oh. Yeah. Seriously, if you, did you watch The Keepers? No. It's a Netflix documentary about priests that took advantage of students and stuff like oh. that. One of them mm. was saying that, like, he, she needed to drink his, like, holy water and shit. <sighs> Why? What's the holy oh, water? Pee? His semen. Oh, his semen. Oh, okay. I mean, no. I thought it was an R. Kelly moment. See, that's yeah, not okay. I mean, pro- maybe. Sorry, I don't All of that's just. For a can you imagine no. weapon? Of- now, I will tell you this. <laughs> the only thing I have to use God for, I was dating this dude, and he, like, really didn't want to have period sex. And I was like, oh, you know what? God turned it off. I don't know okay. what happened. <laughs> now, I did about- have five birth control pills to stop it. What? But I told him God I made my period stop for him. <laughs> can't. I cannot. Yes. And did he believe you? Probably not, but he still fucked. Oh, okay. He was like, no, he didn't. I was like, yes, he did. <laughs> okay, so you don't do period? Hell no. Do y'all uh-huh. what you toss It depends. Salads. I do what? what you toss out. Oh, I eat ass <laughs> like you, a champ. No, no. Sorry. What's the... <laughs> but Mandy, that's, that's your mouth. Mouth. Shit or that's, blood. That's, Are we really? That's, that's, a, that's your be, mouth. I don't be eating mouth. no shit. But they, okay. Did, My, did they take a shower? But you've been doing it without showers. Baby cleans, first off. Okay. Why did it look like a she was like, my man's already clean. He didn't even he do much clean. today. Right, right. He, be clean. he just sat around the house. You know, <laughs> I'm not playing with y'all. Okay. I'm not but playing with But for the record, y'all. that was a shady question. For the it's record. It's fine. Because okay. I'm getting shady. So some of the uh, other segments that we have, one of which we used to have called Kink of the Week. Okay. I was listening to Reasonably Shady. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to actually tell you um, about a kink that maybe you should look for in your next partner. Okay. You want to find someone who is into e-proctophilia. What the What's that mean? This is a straight man who loves re- uh, who receives arousal from their partner's flatulence. So Je- uh, Giselle actually shared that she farts a whole lot when she has sex. <laughs> During? During <laughs> sex? She just said, is it like, <laughs> out of your ass? For the record, I'm leaving. I'm leaving right now. This is a, this is a mess. <laughs> you said it all you Okay, show. so what I said was, let's clarify some things. What I said was that there have been several occasions, because, you know, I am lactose intolerant. So, <laughs> girl, oh you God. said this on so, television? I know. Oh, on, oh, no, podcast. Podcast. on the podcast. Oh, oh, podcast. oh that don't count. There, there have been some occasions that I have done some farting while in the act and the guys was like cool with it like ain't nobody kick me out the bed for farting so um maybe i need oh to God. find a guy who's who really gets aroused is, what is that what is the word again? so a proctophilia okay proctophilia. hold on yes. we said that it happens you fetish. know when they bend you over and they like pull the cheeks apart and you be like oh <laughs> <laughs> i just tighten up <laughs> like, uh, but wait maybe when she it let it out and she lets it out was yeah. it like 
There have been several you. variations of <laughs> said farting. There have Different been noise levels. There have been noise levels. There have been silent killers. Oh, they- <laughs> I would. I, I don't care if anybody else ain't even there but me and you. I'm be like, shit, something happened. <laughs> I don't know what it was. Well, look, you got a cat. Where listen, a cat? listen. We're moving on to the next question. <laughs> look, okay. She said, but wait, what would me... you recommend women to do if it does happen to them? Do you acknowledge it or ignore it? Um, you you see whether or not he acknowledges it. Okay. And if he so does, let's ignore it. and if it if he does, then you know you might be like, oh my bad. But if he doesn't, you just keep going. So no I, one, no one has ever been like, oh, that's disgusting. I'm out. No. Okay. Never. She's like, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> I now, never got kicked out. The now, the next that. segment that we have is called Vanilla Shit. Vanilla Shit talks about sex in the news. That's it. Okay. And this one is more uh, to kind of get you guys open about what type of mothering styles you guys have. So a school in Loudoun County, um, the parents were really upset because they did a sex survey mm-hmm. that was sent out to the students. These are high school students mm-hmm. where they asked how many p- sexual partners they have, if they're sexually active, if they've ever caught in an STD. These are all the questions that were given to the students. Mm -hmm. And one of the students came and said, Mom, I'm really uncomfortable with these questions. And pretty much now they're looking into why this was given without asking the parents for permission first. Mm -hmm. Now, Robin, you have sons. Mm -hmm. And Giselle, you have daughters. Mm -hmm. So I'm curious to know what the sexual identity conversation is with your children and how you guys even talk about sex. Because your girls are... Uh, teenagers. They're getting quite yeah. up there. Yeah. So what are like the conversations you guys have with sex with your children? I'll let Robin go. Well, I mean, mine are, so mine are in eighth grade and sixth grade. Okay. And they're still like embarrassed to even talk about like girls or, you know, oh, if they think, if, yeah, they're still, they're, they're like super, super cool. Do you know what I'm saying? Okay. Like they're like almost too cool right now. Okay. So we don't have those conversations just yet. Is Juan having them with them and not you maybe? Because I ain't gonna hold you. They were sucking titties in middle school, I, back I mean, when I went. I, so. I, was, I was kissing boys when I was in fifth grade. That's what I'm saying. Like, so I'm just like looking at my kids like, what is going on? But so maybe you should I, bring it up. Y- yeah. You got to. Who All right, I'm going to tell I'm a, Juan's got to have the conversation. Because I think, you know what, honestly, though, I think they would be more open with me than with him. Really? He's, he's scary. He's kind of scary. Okay. Yeah. But, okay. He can, but he can fish it out of them. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's going to, like, trick them into thinking that he knows the truth. Even though he does it. Do you now, have family dinners? Yeah. You should pro- I would do it. Like, my mom Ooh. used to do it in front of my dad, and I'd be so embarrassed. She'd be like, so do you have a boyfriend? Don't be embarrassed. She was like, we need to talk about it. He needs to get used to it. We would laugh about it. But her she mom would- also, when we was like 15, 16, mm-hmm. we would take the car with our fake IDs, go to the club, mm-hmm. and her right. mom would give us condoms. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's, See, that's a whole my mom was scared that I would lie. Because, you know what I'm saying? Okay. We're from Florida, so everybody basically, like, gets pregnant there. <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, not my child. Like, if you go and sneak out and go to the club, yeah. I need to know where. Right. Like, yeah. okay. you know, and that was... That's smart. Yeah. Yeah. But I remember she would bring it up a lot. And at first, I didn't really understand it, right? Because it would embarrass me. But then I'm like, oh, she just wants him to get used to these conversations. Yeah. yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? And the family dinners is when it happened. That's smart. I feel like mine are sheltered a little bit. Okay. Just because, like, I was bad. I, I, I was, I was, it's so crazy. I was, like, really good in the house. But I had mm. a lot of, like, I would always you know, be gone every weekend, sleeping over a friend's house. And that's when I was like, we could tell up. by your hoops. <laughs> <laughs> Not because the earrings told it all. Because I got the full inch, at least three inch or four inch. The bigger the hoop, yes. the bigger the hoe. Yes. 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 So if you actually, actually fist you're... through it, it's yeah. enough. I know. Rob, Rob is more of a hoe than me. That's why she said, I can't come in here and tell y'all how freaky I am in the bedroom. <laughs> can't tell y'all. I'm like, that's I, why I'm gonna I be had to it. stop at a certain age and then I could like I could tell you everything up to a certain age, and then after that, yeah, right. My lips are sealed. Okay, so real. Okay, no, you don't. No, no, no. So I'm saying like because we, because I was bad, and because like Juan, he's from like Baltimore City, like he don't trust nobody. Like my kids right. are okay. sheltered. Like they okay. don't. They really when they go someplace, like we know exactly where they are, what they're doing. Like they don't have a whole bunch of freedom. So I think that's why we haven't gotten to that point with them. Okay, but yeah, I, it's probably about that time. Mm, it's that it time. Is. It is. Yeah, for sure. It is. What for about sure. you, Giselle? I, um, okay, so somebody told me a long time ago, actually, this was a dude that I was dating. Um, he was like, you know, when you have children, if you have a boy, you have to worry about his penis. But if you have girls, you have to worry about everybody's penis. Okay. Right? Yes. So, okay, that's side note. So when my kids were very young, I had a book. I had a bunch of books because I'm a reader. So I had a bunch of books like on the shelf and there was a book, The um, Anatomy of Sex or something. Okay. So they were like, it came to me. They were like very young, like fourth grade, 
third grade. And they were like, mommy, what is sex? What is sex? What's S-E-X? What's, what's that, mom? So I was like, I ignored it for like a week. So then finally I was like, y'all want to know what sex is? And they was like, yes. So they, I sat them down. I was like, what do you have in between your legs? And they was like, oh, we have a vagina. And I was like, and boys have a, and they was like, penis. I was like, the penis goes into the vagina. Oh my God. And they were like, they were, how old? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they acted like it was a horror story. They ran out the room. Oh. They were so upset. They were like, how and why? That's disgusting. <laughs> they were in fourth grade? <laughs> yes. But but it was, I think, the best thing. Because it was like, I ripped the Band-Aid off. Right. They were very clear. Yeah. And as they got, a l- maybe a year later, I was like, look, guys, I don't ever want you guys to have questions about sex. And you don't ask me or I don't tell you in advance. Don't go to your Mm. friends. They don't know what they're talking about. That part. Right. Mm. I was like, you come to me because I'm going to tell you. And there's nothing that y'all going to do I haven't done. Mm -hmm. So, like, there is no. Booty, maybe. No, no, that's wrong. That's That's wrong. (laughs) So we have very open conversations. That's great. And, you know, my oldest is 17. I'm I don't you know, she says she hasn't done anything, but I I don't want to be a stupid parent, you know, if you have, okay, let's just make sure you're protected. Right. So I, I feel like I have to always be, like, proactive and get in front of it. I don't think that conversation you had is crazy. I think as long as it comes from you, that's all that matters. I, yeah. Everybody's going to have their own way. My mom called it my private. Like, there were different ways. Right. She explained it differently. At first, she was talking about it being close together. Like, she didn't say in, but, you know, it was <laughs> yeah. her way of explaining it to me. And then more questions happened gradually. Right. But as far as, you know, your 17-year-old, I always assume that, like, Anybody over 15 has had sex. And that's right. not the case. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know, and I, I think that especially if you're open, yeah. like with my mom, I was able to tell her when it happened. And I was so happy that I did because a lot right. of my friends hit it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I got a, I got a free year called the pandemic and they didn't go outside. Oh, <laughs> so I got, you, you know, yeah, I got, you I got to have an extra year. Got an extra year built in. Uh, so yeah, probably didn't. It, what about I mean, prom? Well, oh, they just went to up. like a homecoming dance. Okay. I'm going to show you all a picture of the dudes later. But like... These dudes are like looking like men. Yeah, no, yep. mm-hmm. yeah. I could never mm-hmm. be a high school teacher. I live by nope. a basketball court mm-hmm. in the Lower East Side, and I yeah. tell you right now, I'd be like, "Are these grown? Gr- they like? <laughs> it, I don't know what yeah. they're eating now. Look at that six pack. I don't know what they're eating. I don't know what they're eating. <laughs> yeah. This is me sounding old now, baby. That, yeah. that is exactly what they eat. <laughs> That's what they eat. But they're also like tatted up in yes. high school, uh-huh. and I'm like, uh-huh. yes. Oh, that's like, what we're doing. Whoa. Yeah. They didn't Whoa. they did not look like that. They didn't. And this we, Brittany Brittany we can actually say that uh-uh. they did not look like right? that. No. Like Hutchison? No, this is no, what Brittany Renner did. No, seriously, it's crazy. <laughs> Bro, there was a basketball Ooh, player. I went out, it. it's a little sister, and I was like, How old are you? And he said, I'm 20. And I said, 20 what? <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker looks so good. And I had it. I, I felt bad. 20 is okay. You could look at someone. No, 20. no, no. no. 20 is not, that's legal. That well, is, how old are no, you? No, I'm 30. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can you can screw a no, 20 no, year old. No. Absolutely. You can. Yes. Absolutely. Or you, you can at least look yes. at it. No, bro. I, that's crazy. <laughs> Why is that crazy? He okay. probably is at his best hell. Hello. He gonna so his best hell. <laughs> okay, so would you, Talk if about you're 35, would you do a 25 a year old? That don't sound that bad. I feel like it doesn't, but I think it's because at 20, I know you ain't developed They're all the like way. Still like, you're still a kid. What more is he developing? So you feel like you're that taking penis advantage? Is that penis is developing. That penis is developing at 20, bro. But like, he's still a kid, bro. Like, look at the shit I fucking do. What the fuck is... No. I love okay. it because then you could teach us some things. Ooh. Mm-hmm. And get it, they like older women. And get women. it your way. <laughs> yeah. Yes. What's that uh, fast food place? Is the audience... Do they have an audience at the draft or what? Because it's sounding they like... Do. <laughs> they do. Have you been... No, I just watch it on TV and then go to their Instagrams now. <laughs> a lot of them deals. You can but... teach them some things. <laughs> so yes. um, the next question or segment is our hors d'oeuvre. This okay. is, we kind of want to give it to y'all. Okay. Our hors d'oeuvre segment is sex tips. Okay. Oh. And so I know that even with us talking about the difference between sex in your 20s uh-huh. uh, to sex maybe in your 30s, uh-huh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> if y'all could give us share some sex tips with the audience from y'all. From your bedroom to our ears. Um, You're single to so? I am. Okay, Ooh, maybe I'm married and a single tip. That'd be good. There we go. There we go. I, I can. This is not a tip, but I can say that. Um, how old are you? Thirty one. Thirty one. Okay. Post forty. That's when sex gets good. Like that's when you really know what you're doing. I don't know for if, the if, women. If you agree? For I, I think for for women, maybe men too. I mean, I feel like after forty, it's like you understand better, like your body. Um, but we were hoes. So we even like, if, even are, if you're a hoe, even yeah. if you're a hoe, it's like something happens in the mind that makes mm. it all the way better. So I'm going to have better sex. Do you think you're choosing better years. partners? No. Now? 
Straight. <laughs> Damn. So that was straight. straight. It doesn't nope. Nope. better. No. Nope. It's not I, the better part. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Do you agree? Um, not it's you can't really say that. Yeah, like you were the same. I'm dude. still. I'm right. I'm at the. Um, and I'm only 42, so maybe like. Um, oh, okay. Uh-uh. Yeah. Oh, I got you. Oh, okay. Not no. you here. Like, no. I'm just saying. Maybe only two I years in my 40s. I, I, I'm all, right. I've only had two years. To, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you're with the what? same guy, so you can't really. But you I can't would, say, but but it's definitely just as good. Uh, you know, I feel like it's just more mature. Like, you're not doing all, like, the unnecessary stuff. That's like true. What? You know what I mean? That's what true. Is, what is unnecessary bit huh. of sex? That's a, that's okay, a so, like, like, pounding, like, forever for no reason. Yeah, don't right. do that. Yes, don't yeah. do that. Uh-uh. Yeah. Fellas, we told you don't yeah. do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just don't do that. You know what I mean? That's so fair. it's like, just, just making sure you're, like, that you're doing something that feels good to you. Do right. you want to incorporate toys? Yes. Okay. Oh, I didn't know yeah. that. So that's good information. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, okay. toys Toys yes. have been probably one of... So I would say that would be my tip. That's going to be my tip. Okay. Like, don't be scared of toys. Right. What's your I favorite know. toy right. you and your husband use? So I, I don't know the names of anything. Um, he got this toy mm. that, like, it went over his thing, right? Okay. Over his penis. It, it, it was like, okay. You know, I don't know. A ring? A ring? Yeah, but then it had, like, a vibrating thing. A yeah. vibrating thing. A vibrating thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, the terminology. Okay, but so so Juan got it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so a man has never gotten like I if I if I participate in toys, I've always gotten it. Oh, like a man has never. Yeah, it, it could no, be fun both. for y'all to go together. Oh, and right, and to pick, pick stuff out. out. Yes. Yeah, pick out but stuff I would be impressed like if so, someone came home and like brought a toy for you. I'd be like, oh, I think that's yeah, sweet. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, it's I, like I, he's I, like I, excited to try it. So yes. the vibrating cock ring, like that was like everything. Oh yeah, oh. I've yeah. tried it too, and you yes. can feel it inside your pussy. Yeah. Like it's like it does make the dick vibrate and all that. Yeah, I think it's I great. It's every time. But wait, it's like so. It's like vibrating on your clit too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can it's I tell you when and you then, said he put some over his penis? I was like, I was like, I was like she about to say he needed not a an penis extender. extender. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> okay, we, but has anybody that ever department. used that? I, I, I so I, I'm, a, I'm a size queen. Yeah, I like so you put you have. You I ain't gonna hold you if it if it's pulled out and it's small. My period just came on. So <laughs> we, can't, we can't do this. I'll, Maybe next I'll time, it, like out of like charity, like I'll fuck you. And you then, give charity pussy. If I, if it's if I was already gonna do it and I find out it was small, it's an unfortunate mistake. You know what okay, I mean? Okay, but then but then do you pull out an extender and say this is what I really no. want? Yeah, what? How it's does just that like work? the next time you try to have sex, I'm gonna be like, I've been talking to my ex again and like just really feel like things are just going that way and I don't. Can know. you ex- can you describe an extender? How does that? Damn, work? And so like have if you, you guys one? come to so the no, live you- show? We actually oh. have a whole segment where we bring out weird sex toys. Okay, okay. And so what it looks like is, I mean, and they come in different colors too. So okay. we have but, different ones. So LA and Atlanta, so if you're it's listening, like you might see something different. But basically, mm-hmm. it's a, and it's a, it looks like a dildo with a um, a hole in it. It's a hollow hole and you put your dick inside. So it's just wow. another. It's and extra, it straps on or something? Now there's also like, like a strap on, I guess? No, you don't have to strap it on because it'll stick kind of because it's like oh, silicone like jelly. Yeah. This is exciting. Have you yeah. used, okay, no. have you used one before? I'm, no, I'm I've, just, I've used strap on ons with my ex girlfriend, okay. but um, no, never extenders. I never needed it. I mean, I've fucked small dick niggas, and then I hate when I fall in love first. That sucks. <laughs> but then you could just have anal sex. Yeah, but okay. <laughs> no, I can't. Oh. It's small. Because it's small. <laughs> okay. Oh, Jesus. You know, <laughs> slippery slope here. Slippery, well, <laughs> hopefully, if, if it's small and it's slippery, that's even worse. Oh, for your my mouth. Gosh. I mean, get out of here. All right. So have you ever like it's kicked easier. somebody out the bed or out the house before? It n- never mind. Let's I did midway. The next it one. wasn't good, and midway? we like hyped our, like it, yes, we hyped it up. All? So like we were sending each other videos, fucking other like you know because he didn't oh, live here. No. So it was like super super hyped up, and I was like, ooh, and he nasty. Ooh, and I see how he fucked that bitch. He gonna fuck me good. How did it go? And what? It, it literally it just oh no. It was like we almost couldn't even get the rhythm to where I literally rolled over. I was like. This isn't, this isn't, oh this my. isn't working. But he sent you pictures of him having sex with other women. Yeah, I like, I like that. I do that Oh, you lot. like that? Often. Oh, like, okay. I like to see, okay. I like to watch. Not the shade. <laughs> you, see, you see the shade? No, it wasn't shade. She's like, like, there's no, no judgment. There's so no judgment like, here. So you don't like, like, we all have videos in our phones. Like, I, do, I do not. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> we're going we're gonna, to work on that. Okay. We're going to work on that. As you, as you date, maybe, you know. <laughs> but I don't want to see you boning another girl. I don't want to see that. 
No. Okay, so see, to be fair, I also enjoy voyeurism and I go to sex clubs. Oh, okay. Oh. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. I'm into that okay. lifestyle. Like me okay. watching you fuck right. someone else. Yep. That's all that's someone, but, oh. but someone else, that's like an old video. That's not like... Well, if like we're last like night. if you're well, if right. we're both single and we're both just having casual, not me wanting Mandy okay. to be the whore acting like I've never done this. I'm like <laughs> definitely have videos. I'm like I don't even know her. Bro, <laughs> you um, totally have videos so, in your phone. I will say, yeah. I enjoy. Um, I'm in an open relationship. I don't really do that shit anymore. Probably he he couldn't handle it on my end. But for me. I did like to see the other person because it uh-huh. made me feel like I was included in it. It didn't feel as, and maybe that's just me being a little possessive or it's just the way that I can handle non-monogamy. Yeah. But mm-hmm. I do like knowing how it's going because it makes me feel like, oh, you're not leaving me out or I'm not forgotten about. Right. right. And I think right. it's kind of Or you can't sit at home and wonder like, hmm, I wonder how it was or I wonder, you know, like, right. like yeah. there's no like mystery to but like how it went. But if someone has to take a video for you, like I'm reading this book right now called Three Women and one of the women has sex with other men okay. and her husband will tell her, like, I want you to fuck that guy, that guy. Her phone died during one of the sessions and the husband blew up on her. Like they almost like went separated. He was like, this is the first time you've disrespected me. Like if I'm not included in this and granted it's a book, but I'm sure someone's like, I that. told you that if I'm not in, in Jamaica. This, it's a wrap. Oh, right. In Jamaica, I, I had, I was given a hall pass mm-hmm. and I didn't use it. I was in Jamaica and there was a curfew, but I ended up just falling asleep. I, a bitch was drunk. I went on a boat all day and a bitch was drunk looking right. like a lobster. I just fell asleep. Okay. But before falling asleep, I had let him know that, hey, I met this guy. He's good looking. We might go get drinks later. He called me like three times while I was napping. And it just spiraled. Okay, so y'all were in an open relationship too? Uh, He gave me a hall pass because, oh, you see, you because we that. played with women. I okay. like women. Okay. So okay. because we had just played with so many women all the time and he had played with women, okay. he was like, you don't want other dick? Are you sure? So when I traveled, he would give me a hall pass. Okay. I never okay. used it because I'm like, nigga, I'm good. Right. I promise. Right. But the one time I was, I fell asleep, <laughs> didn't do nothing, but he thought I didn't answer the phone. So it was wow. Wait, wow. Was the guy a bartender? No, he wasn't a bartender. Okay. I okay. thought you so met the guy at a bar. It's or, like I'm there's like a little thin line. Like, like you don't know where you can't what you don't when well, you can't and cross that's the thing, it. When I mean, but in monogamy, you don't know which line you can and cannot cross. And so right. to me, it's just yeah. like you need to have full transparency, full openness, and communication just has to be top tier. Yeah. And to be fair, like even with what our relationship is or was, definitely more customized, but we set boundaries along the way. Like okay. there was a lot of things where I didn't know it would bother me. He didn't know it would bother him. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so you almost have to also allow yourself to be upset, okay. but yeah. talk it through. Yeah. Oh, nice. Don't hold it in. Don't hold it against them, but talk it through. Okay. I like that. And, her and her friend. I like that. Yeah, and that's actually leading us into okay, our yeah. horrible decision. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> We Forgive and forget uh-huh. or fuck it. And I bring this up because uh-huh. both of you doubled back okay. after a marriage. So both of you filed, uh, got divorced, mm-hmm. doubled back to your partner after even infidelity. Wait, but- wait, wait. We got divorced. Explain it to me. You got divorced so- <laughs> and went back to the same person? Yes. Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah. 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 I mean, so- I'm engaged to my ex-husband. Yes. yes. What? That's really dumb. Right. Yeah. Like, oh, there's not other niggas. It's you. <laughs> <laughs> everybody else does suck. Right. And then, wow. and yes. then she, also, really everybody so. she yes. also got divorced yes. and went back to him. And then yes. they, they but we're not up. together. They're not together yes. anymore as well. That's like really, I, I think that's right. almost more, that's more special than like a normal relationship. It is. It is. And we have kids. You know what I mean? So it's like, and we've been together. We, we started dating when I was 16, when we were 16. So like. How it, long were you separated or divorced for um, we divorced Five in <laughs> seven minutes. The shade. Five we minutes in 2012, <laughs> but I will say for like the previous, I don't know, like three years since from 2009 to 2012, we were pretty much separated. What brought the spark back? Um, Girl, have you not seen what he looked I, like? <laughs> that no. would bring the spark back, bitch. I haven't seen. <laughs> That's he why fine. you think not anyone. He no, fine. no, but I'm curious. What brought it back? So you know, okay. So, so you got to watch the show, and you yeah. would know. So we went through. So he played in the NBA. We went. We got divorced. He pretty much lost all his money. So we were like dead broke to the point where like I couldn't even pay my my water bill. You know what I mean? Like stuff like that. So we, after being divorced, um, we just kind of like came together and was like, we're going to get through this together. So we're going to support one another financially. We're going to pool our resources. We're going to help each other, like, you know, um, excel in our careers and all that type of stuff. So we were living together. We weren't 
together, Mm -hmm. you know, but we were living together. um, And we just like, we got, we, we pulled ourselves up. You know what I'm saying? We got back life back on track. Yeah. So it was like going through that with someone really makes you like that much tighter. This is why you can't believe niggas when they say they just live with their baby mom. I know. You can't. (laughs) Oh, they're lying. No, they're lying. They're lying. 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 Yeah. Yeah. So y'all, and y'all was still having, were y'all dating other people while y'all were living together? We were, um, I really wasn't because like I had the kids. So he's like one of them like, Crazy niggas, right? Okay. That's like, okay. <laughs> but we love him though. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. But he's he, crazy. He's yeah. going to be like, you know, looking, you know, trying to figure out what I'm doing. Like, so I just was okay. like, I'm not even trying to play these games with him. Like, dude, I don't care what you're doing. You do what you want, but I'm just gonna focus on me, my kids, and and making I some money. I understand now. Get, Juan Dixon. Get, ah! Okay. We done got a Google search. We done got the Google. I'm like, damn, ain't he got the concrete? <laughs> <laughs> she was looking at a picture of y'all. Yeah, she was, I wanted, so, uh, yeah. So, yeah. So, oh, like, you yeah. got back with him after that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right, I got back with a broke dude. Yes, I did. I did. Yeah. I did. Now, now no no broke. I did. Dude. See? I do have, before we get in, um, to our horrible decision, just like basic reality TV show questions that I feel like people really want to know. Yeah. A real housewife to me, you know how they, just growing up, you know how they start to expose people all the time. They're really broke and everybody's always calling the other one broke and they don't have this. And I watched this clip about people saying, oh, our house this in the driveway. And I was like, okay, but the house is being done. Like people with money do that too. Yeah. <laughs> do you ever feel like you have to almost be um, extra and makeup always done and be this well-to-do person mm-hmm. because of TV or even the franchise itself. I think everyone does except me and Robin. <laughs> Literally. Like, really? I, 100%. I mean, I don't have the energy for that. And I'm not going... I, I made the decision, I'm sure Robin did too. I'm not going broke for this show. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not going to get in debt to try to make y'all think I'm something that I'm not. And, right. and mind you, I was always good. Mm-hmm. But um, I think that there's other people that get on the show and they have there's something that they have to prove. Mm-hmm. So they do go in debt. Right. Mm-hmm. And they do do a lot of extra shit in order to prove something to people that they don't even know. I so, know. Like they do music videos and shit. That's <laughs> oh, <crazy. laughs> but they're very low budget. OK, Ooh, those right. those. Videos but see, are low but that's what I when I was watching it as a teenager, I feel like it's been out that long. Yeah. I remember thinking these are the richest people on TV. Then it changed a little bit to where they started to feel more normal to me. Mm-hmm. But I think it came from the Beverly Hills and you're watching, I remember Camille, I think her, her yeah, husband died. Yeah, Kelsey Grammer. Right, no, no, and they yeah. would put Grammar's the price tag. No, not Kelsey no, Grammer. Kelsey Grammer's alive. No, no, but, no. But it was she Camille. A, yeah. Someone, someone Taylor, died. Taylor. Taylor's Taylor, husband sorry, died. Yeah, yeah. Her husband yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And they yeah. weren't really living that life. But I remember yeah. they would talk about the money and the birthday yeah. parties. Yeah. Oh, they do that now on Beverly yeah. Hills. But that shit yeah. is a lot of pressure to somebody. And so... I remember when I would watch Atlanta, I'm like, oh, this is dope because they kind of feel like somebody I know or like the rich aunties, right. they ain't what they is, but they oh, all yeah, that. Nah. <laughs> right. Atlanta, yeah. Atlanta yeah. now that I watch Beverly Hills and some of these other franchises, Atlanta is... <sighs> but that's also money too. Like if, you, yeah. if you're a hundred millionaire <laughs> over, you probably are going to be living right. in Beverly Hills. But, right. but I feel like all of us across the board are aspirational. I feel like if people do look at the show and they're, they aspire to, regardless of what we have, have that. Can right. Ask, yeah. Can I ask, is that the pressure? I know that you started a makeup line. You have embellished. We see three wick and one wick candles going on right now. <laughs> the wick war. The wick war. Oh like, do, does that come from being on that show, the pressure to be an entrepreneur? Because that's what we've seen a lot from you this this season is like growing, moving into a warehouse and right. really seeing like, oh, this is a lot of fucking work. Right. Is, is there pressure to be businesswomen? No, I wouldn't say it's on the show? pressure, but it, but it is, you know, let me take advantage of this opportunity yes. while I have it, yes. while I have a million people watching me every week. So why not? But, but honestly, for me, I've always had an entrepreneurial spirit. Okay. So I would have, Oh, I would have had a business regardless. Now, would it be doing as well? Probably not. Would I have to work a lot harder to get to get exposure for it? Yes. Yeah. But when you have a platform like this, you use right? It. Yeah, it's great to use it. Yeah. Right. So, but as far as like the the like pressure to kind of be someone you're not, like when I joined the show, I I told him out the jump, look, I'm broke. So <laughs> <laughs> she did. That was. I, 
Yes, that was a real conversation. Literally. I was like, Robin, what the fuck are you doing here? Yes. <laughs> yes. Like talking, you know, I'm talking to the casting director and the and the vice president of, of programming, all this. I said, I'm I said, look, I'm not living that life. I'm broke. But they found something interesting in my story. They found it relatable. They found it um, you know, very, something very human like. They saw that, one. I, yeah, I yeah, 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 yeah. They I saw the one. <laughs> you know, they found they knew that the viewers were going to be able to connect. There would be a lot of viewers that could right. connect to that. 100%. And so, a lot of the housewife shows, there, I feel like they're either the people on it are either aspirational, mm-hmm. like you know, Lisa Vanderpump and Kyle Richards, yeah. or. They're relatable because they have some sort of interesting story going on. Like Kyle's yeah. sister. I loved when and, I used to watch it. Oh, yeah. And I'd be like, oh, her, she got a normal ass fucking house. And like, like Portia, right. I love her stealing other people's husbands. Yeah, stop <laughs> it. Love, stop it. I'm not going to let you do that. Portia's my girl. But I stop. like Portia. Portia, my favorite one. And I'm so mad she's not on Atlanta no more, but she's getting That's her own spinoff. That's how much news that is. I don't even watch. And I was like, what? She's getting her own spinoff. They look though. real happy, though. So it's like. Yeah, they do. Yeah, no, I'm I, excited. I, you know, I would say, just made me think of it when you said a million people watching. I uh, heard through a friend about their contract on Bravo that said, if you start a business, and she got it taken out with their lawyer, but uh, if you start a business, like, we get X amount of percentage. Mm -hmm. And I was like, that's how big that brand is. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, bitch, we know you're going to do well, so we're going to take some of it. Well, you know why they did that? Because Bethany Frankel started Mm -hmm. her skinny girl line. Yes, the skinny girl margarita. Yes, Yes. and, and that was Per, that business was purchased for a hundred million dollars. Yes. Yeah. So that's why they started that. Right. So yes, that is in our contracts, but it, there's like a, it's it's not like out the gate. It's not like, oh, give me, you know, percentage of your, oh, of I your, saw like, how much it was worth. Dollars, right. you know it's over it's a certain like, amount of million. Yeah. 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 But like, I, I'm not mad at Bravo because they basically, I don't want to say they got burned, but they were, instrumental yeah. in that $100 million. But yeah. Bethany didn't get a dime So, for so it. I need, in, in I need to stop though. saying how successful I am. Yes. Huh? Right. Robin, <laughs> Robin, say you broke. I'm struggling. Oh, yeah. God, 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 damn, oh my God. Bethany was I well known I haven't too. sold a hat. No, she wasn't. Oh no, I'm saying well known on the show. Yeah. Made people want to watch the show. Yeah. Like you can't tell me now. Yeah. I brought viewers. I'm building this franchise for New York and now I got to give you my money because I pop mm-hmm. same scratch with Nene. My back, and I'm not going to pipe up. I, I don't know how people feel I, about I, Nene anymore, but yeah. she was the biggest on Atlanta from what I know, right? So I'm making everybody watch and now you need to cut up my money. You still need I me. Think, but I think Bravo looks at it. If it's not you, it's going to be somebody else. 100%. Do you know what I'm saying? Really? Yeah, yeah. Yes. They are all replaceable. Yes. Yes. Everyone yeah. on TV is every, yes. every year, I'm like, y'all want me back? Because I mean, I don't know. I'll never Girl, take you it for granted. you sit next to Andy every reunion. You're not going nowhere. But still, it's like, no, I never you, take it for granted mm-mm. that I might not be rehired. I never take that for right. granted. Or that the show I, will be renewed. Yeah. I want I want to ask because both of you and with being on Housewives, you share a lot of your personal life. Yeah. So I want to ask <clears> you, <throat> with your double back, uh, to Jamal, do you feel as though um, that being on the show yeah. also fizzled out the relationship? Like, did you feel like it was harder the second time around because it was also on this type of visible platform? Um, No. Only because okay. I know him so well. He knows me so well. So, like, we showed, like, a millisecond of our relationship. Right. As opposed to the the relationship and really what it was. So, and, and he and I are very much used to commentary in our relationship. Okay. So, yeah. I mean, was it more eyes on it? Absolutely. But was it like, oh, I don't want to be with you because everybody, you know, has commentary? Absolutely not. Do you believe? And honestly, I mean, sorry to cut, cut y'all off. Uh-huh. You know, she, years ago when Jamal was doing, you know, it was all in the news right. when they were married. It, it's I don't want to say it's like payback for him, but it's like <laughs> the shoe was on the other foot. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like she's the famous one. And now all, you know, everyone was all up in the business because of her, not because of him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, both of y'all went back. I want to know, do both of y'all believe that once a cheater, always a cheater? Because we did see that he ended up. Um, no, that was prior to, cheater, yeah. that was prior to, okay. yes. Okay. Um, I don't believe that. You don't believe that. I believe that cheating is a choice. Mm. I believe that, um, however, men, men and women do live lifestyles. Okay. Right. So I think that at some point, um, either a man is going to continue to cheat or he's going to make a choice to mm. not. Okay. And it goes, it's vice versa. Women too. Yeah. But, yeah. but I also believe that men, as they get older, then the cheating is not as really yeah. I just and not as like, what disrespectful. The, not, no. not as not as what because they it's, still do it's it. Not, they still do it, but I feel like when they're younger, it's I don't. I feel like there comes like a little t- um, time in their life. When what they, age is that? We, we need we need the age. Like thirty. <laughs> 
54. <laughs> yeah. God damn. 30, 48. <laughs> yeah. 54, shit. Well, I, I mean, got a 547. See, see, my pers- okay, my perspective is a little different because I was with an athlete, yeah, right? right? So really, it, not until their career is over can you feel like, okay, no, and even then, and then, even then, you still have that. You know, of course, the possibility, the opportunity, but it, itself, right? it definitely changes a lot when their career is over. Yeah. And then I just think as they get older and older, they just mature a little bit. More. You know what? So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna go with an, an athlete over a pastor only because you could be a pastor forever. True, yeah. which means like mm-hmm. you're always gonna be seeing people on a weekly. You're yes. never gonna be to where. You could just chill and be away from all Nah, but the maybe air. one day mm-hmm. God will just be like, you got to stop. And you be like, all right. And, <laughs> you know, you might convince I'll you think, to stop I don't think God the is telling is these men to stop cheating. Right. Or God I just might, don't know. Really? Or God might say, you need to keep blessing people. <laughs> you need to spread the love. <laughs> with your you penis. With, the yes, love. with your penis. <laughs> with your hold the water that I, I mean, gave you. Not the seas, <laughs> friend. I mean, I, I, and you know, Steve Harvey always says, a man. Not you quoting Steve Harvey. A man. This is, this is one Steve Harvey quote. Just one. Just one. He says a just man. Like, actually, this is not Steve Harvey. This is my mother. Okay. 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 We'll take that. <laughs> yes. We'll take your mom. <laughs> a man will do what you allow him to do. Agreed. Yeah. Yes. That's so, true. You know, it's, it, it's, it's, it goes both ways. And so then was cheating or is cheating now, is that a deal breaker for you? Or is that something that you could look over? Who am I with? Is this with a, this is a new person? A new person. Yeah. Um, I'm at a I'm at a very weird space, right? Meaning I don't give a shit. Like okay, so I'm at a space where we're gonna have sex and then I'm leaving, and I don't like, you know, he's gonna call and he's gonna try to like see me all the time and like form a relationship, and I I'm not there. Like I'm mm. not asking you what you're doing. I don't care what you're doing. So I can't I, wait to be your age. If I <laughs> yeah. If I get back you into You really sound like you don't care. Like, no, you, you, you'll you'll there. Because women will say, there. I don't give a fuck what he's doing, but they give a fuck. That's me. No, you, oh, I believe I you care. when you say, I just need my nut, and then you could go and... No, yeah, it's, I, no, no, no. I only go to their house so I can leave. Because oh. if they come to you, they lingering. They do. Yeah. Don't linger. <laughs> nigga, go. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, I, if, if I ever get back into a relationship like that, that's very committed, um... Is cheating a deal breaker? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. And that's the first time I've ever said that. Like, I don't know. Okay. Because it'll probably be me cheating. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Robin, what about you? You know what? I feel this, I feel the same as Giselle. Like, but I and I think it's because once you guys go through enough, you just you don't have that much. You, you just have zero fucks left to give. You know what I'm saying? Right. So yeah. it's like, but I probably would, I think honestly. It would be easier for me to be like, bye. Yeah. You know what I mean? Where okay. in the past, it's like, you all broke it up and you like, oh, 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 right. but I love you. We so, you know what I'm saying? And then now it would be like, think it out. Boy, bye. I love like, when I'm over that hump. Yeah. Yeah. Because you right. know, I, bitch, I be crying. Right. When I'm done, yeah. new dick really keeps the tears from me. Once I get fucked by somebody else, I'm like, oh, it's not that bad. Yeah. Right. It's, but it's, it's always, it's not- but when you get older, you really feel like, you know, you don't have time for the drama. Mm-mm. So yeah, if part. it's not working for you in every way, you're out. Like, you, there's no need to continue with this nonsense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the dick has to be good. How do you meet people now that, okay, one, um, I feel bad to say this, but I don't know if you were famous before, but I'm assuming. <laughs> <laughs> no, we were not. She was a first lady, bitch. She wasn't meeting niggas in the church. My man. You ain't about me. You no, know, I was like, <laughs> I don't know if you were re- as recognizable. I was, in a, I was in a P. Diddy video one. Okay, <laughs> that's fame. Wait, were you really? I was. Bad Which, boy for life. Oh, my oh damn. Listen, that's the beat. That's no the beat. She was a video video. She was like, video ho. Let's video. get it straight. Oh, oh, okay. not a, that's how your man found you? See? She was video horrible. I'm wife. Let me find out Juan found you on World Star Hip Hop. No, oh no. So happy Juan is not here right now. No, he actually encouraged me to do the video. He so, did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he made me do the video. Oh, so. yeah. So, like, you're famous, you're on TV, you ha- you're divorced, and you have kids. Like, you can't just jump on an app. And, like, yeah. Oh, no, I don't do that. So how do you meet people? Mm. Um, friends. Friends have friends. Mm-hmm. And then... But you don't feel like, the, like you don't know, like, it's a small town? What you mean? Girl, it's you, still the DMV. They got Maryland, Virginia, but be, and DC. But you don't be here. knowing them like they don't have, have you. Have you seen Ready to Love? Ain't nobody in DC. No. Oh, no. 
Grand Girl, Love is the thing. Yes, it's on right now. Is it on Kofi? Oh. On Kofi? You know what's crazy? I always feel they, like, but here you have all on. the rich professional black men too. Like, I, I would I would move here. I think they here. I ain't gonna lie. Don't do it. They, no, no, the no, younger don't generation. Don't do it. They, look. Yeah. Look, she said the younger yeah, don't do it. Uh, <laughs> uh, but so but then, it, okay, so all the dudes that you are dealing with right now, they're never leaving. Oh, I know. So they always come back. Oh, I, oh wait, even when we're we like... We just in said our this. 40s, we just said this. So, but I didn't I, know they was going to be here 20 years from now. They will. My oh, father I told me, um, I brought the person I've been dating. We've been dating for three years, and I call him an old baby. Man, he does. He's 43. Mm-hmm. But, uh... My dad said to me, my dad likes him. My dad has a really thick Israeli accent. He goes, you know, if you get busy, you're making money. Like, this is your time. If he go, he come back. Yeah. No, the <laughs> and truth. I was like, they come back. And I don't know what made him say that to me. And he kept trying to basically explain to me, like, if you need to stop dating to work, like, he's like, don't let this mess up the work. Mm, yeah. And I think maybe he saw me on a call. I mean, I have a lot of jobs, yo. <laughs> he maybe saw me on a call doing something and like attending to him. And my dad was probably like, oh, fuck no. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's very true. Yeah. Like, I don't know what it is about the double back for men, but I think men place way more value. And it's probably because we don't hurt them as bad as. Well, it's yeah. also, mm-hmm. if you think about it, men always come back and they know we take them back, unfortunately. That's the right. problem. Like, I just feel like they feel... When I feel like... Especially it, yeah. when it's good, they be like, she right. ain't going nowhere. Yeah. But men know it's, a good thing when they have it. And when they lose it. They? Yeah, well, they especially know it when they lose it. They lose and it. then they with some real super crazy bitch that ain't worth nothing. That's right. You know true. what I'm saying? Like, right. they know. So they yeah. so if you're worth something to them, like, if they really appreciated your relationship and the time y'all spent together, they will yeah. never they forget you. got a hold on me, dog. And if, if you were good and bad, oh, they ain't going nowhere. Yeah. But they know when they're good and bad, And they know we gonna get better. And they know we gonna get better. there's a dude in my life, the guy I went out with in LA, and I've been like trying not to fuck him because I just don't want to get it started. And he said to me the other day, he took me to dinner, and he was like, uh, he was like, don't worry, I ain't gonna try to come up. I was like, I ain't worried. And he was like, let me tell you something. When you fuck me finally, you gonna be buttering my bread the next time we go out. <laughs> buttering is that like? But those are the ones yeah, that, that like. Is that a, is then you do it in your life? Bread. Wow. Buttering his bread because we we always go to that dinner. Tommy fucking him. Oh, 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 real okay. buttering. He was like, you gonna you be see, buttering look, my. We both. You were like, what is that? What is that? Girl, let me see. I know that did guy. When he said that shit, I was like, I know it's big. Like, <laughs> But oh, that's no. gonna be the one that, like yeah. that you had that was that uh-uh, you stopped uh-uh, midway. I don't, uh-uh, don't be bringing Her up mine. I'm saying, that's that's like, I don't even. The ones that have the ones we do say. y'all podcast when we do y'all show in like two three and weeks. Like, yes. <laughs> she be like, oh yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Y'all gonna he be just left. Oh yeah. We need because it's about to get cold outside. Listen, I have a lot of friends. Not the weather. Right. We want to know when people want to know when they come out. When, when is the tour over? That's when yeah. the relationship hey, is December back. December 17th, yeah. y'all. Make sure you come. <laughs> make sure you come to Atlanta <laughs> December 17th. We will also be in LA December 3rd. Mm-hmm. Robin and Giselle, thank you so very much. You're very welcome. I am welcome. so what, glad y'all What days of the week is your show? Does it yes, I was going to say. Monday. Sunday. What? Oh, 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 oh Pot- Reason- Potomac is my Mon- Potomac is Sunday. <laughs> Your podcast, podcast. Monday. <laughs> Which one you promoting? Damn. Okay, yeah. we we, we promote it all. <laughs> <laughs> we don't, we don't, yeah. By the way, uh, was it good? I mean, y'all can say it now that it's over. Did y'all enjoy Nicki Minaj hosting the third reunion you show? Yeah. Us that. Are we done? No. Yes. Yeah. We know, we're oh. asking now. Yeah. 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 Um, one hundred percent. She yeah. did a good yes. job. She, okay. did a she, did a, great job. she did a great job. She was there all day. Like, but oh, wow. and we didn't know it, so she got there like noon. We did our normal reunion. She didn't appear to us until what about eight thirty? Oh, yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. that okay. night. From what I understand, she was nervous. Oh wow! Like, she, okay. sa- she sounded nervous when she first came out. When she first started, I yeah. could feel that she was nervous. And after it was over, I was like, "Nikki, you did great." And she was like, "Giselle, I was nervous. Y'all the bitches was gonna <laughs> cuss me out. I was scared. Y'all was gonna cuss me." And we're like. But can you imagine really look at the reaction of when she yeah. was hosting it? People weren't happy. Like, as far as like, you know, woke times today, like I would be nervous too. Yeah. Not, yeah. I'm not I don't fan, know. I don't so. think I don't think she worried about that type of stuff. I, like, I, 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 I think when you're she, a fan of the show, so. like I yeah. was a little nervous. Now, nah, you know, the jitters yeah. got out. I'm yeah. I'm cool now. No, she's cool. So so what I appreciate about her, and I and hopefully it comes across when you when we when we watch her, um, it really felt like she really knows the show. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It wasn't like she's just there because she's Nicki Minaj. It's like, no, she's Nicki Minaj. She the show. And she's been watching since day one. She, she she got to have more yeah. people do that, yeah. though. Yeah. Like, people that we know in the right. industry. Like, why them niggas ain't have me do 90 Day Fiance? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I know. You've been trying to get What's that. What's your favorite reality show? <sighs> no Bravo. I'm, okay. I'm I'm a little on the... Oh, I like to watch Ratchet TV. So, I love a, a love and hip-hop. Oh, Jesus. I do. Oh, like, Jesus. I like Jocelyn's Cabaret? No. 
Well, I, I, I had to, after ratchet. she left, you know, Atlanta, I was done with her. Okay. But I did love a Stevie J, her, Jocelyn Hernandez moment. <laughs> yeah. Those were moments. Like, we'll never forget them. Mm-hmm. Um, what a time. I love, I love the Creep Squad, the New York... Um, all right. Richie Not loving hip hop New York. Okay. And, Peter and you Guns. like basketball wives too. I, I, yeah, I'm, uh, look, I, yeah. I like a little ratchet. You I really like If y'all. I had to guess the show you were on by yeah. looking at yeah. you, I would 100% guess Rich Divorcee, basketball wife, who would be shading everybody at the dinner. That's, if I was walking down the street and someone was like, they're on TV, I'd be like, oh, 100% basketball wife. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> Shawnee, just like rich and pretty and like, let me well, no, Shawnee, it. Shawnee's with a pastor now, yes. ironically. Yes. Wow. Shawnee just got proposed just got to by a pastor. By the way, yes. I saw her when I was on vacation in the Bahamas and I was trying not to stare, but I was like, wow, you just really out here with your friends, spending all that old money, just it. giving a fuck, not giving a fuck about shit. Nah, she makes Still looking good. Yeah, I love it. That's yeah. nice. She could go from Shaq, get all his money and then live her life good. Hell yeah. I know yeah. that's right. right. Well, that when thing. can we listen to Reasonably Shady? I know yes. y'all are like one year in, so congrats. Not even. Almost. Not even. Yes. Not even. Almost. Not even, yeah. not even yet. A year in May. It, yes. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh, uh-huh. yes. How's well, it going to be blowing up from the flow podcasters up. now? <laughs> oh, well, we love it. It's a lot of work. Yeah, it's work, but we love it. It's work. Yes. But we love it because we are connecting with the, the viewers, the listeners, and the viewers of the show, like, yeah, like awesome. I said, on a deeper level. So yeah. I love that. So but we drop on Monday. Every Monday. So Every after Monday. you listen to this show, Horrible Decisions, uh-huh. make sure y'all tune in to Reasonably Shady. That is a Black Effect iHeartRadio yeah. podcast. Uh, Giselle, yeah. Robin, thank y'all. <laughs> Thank, thank you. you. Thank you made it. Thank yes. you for not being so nasty. Because we were going to be like, <laughs> y'all <laughs> let us suck dick you. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. This has been yet another episode of Horrible Decisions. Bye. <laughs> 